Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Sunday, October 21st, 2019, and I think it's my cousin's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ashley, even though she doesn't watch really. Welcome to my new subscribers, and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. I'm coming to you today from Turkey Creek Nature Preserve that is near my house. I spoke briefly of this place, um, I think while we were at the Butterbean Festival a couple weeks ago, and that it used to be a place just to hang out and party and have fun after school and on the weekends, but then someone discovered that we had a rare and near extinct little fish that I'm going to have to check the name of, but I believe it is called the Rainbow Darter. This is such a peaceful area that I thought I would just sit here and let y'all listen to the sounds of the creek with me today. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm here. I just don't want to get in the way in that beautiful, beautiful view. So I stopped at Subway and got me some lunch and came down here. So if I get on my knee, ow! And I ate the rest of it, but my cookies. <laughs> oh. Yep. Old knees ain't gonna do that. So I'm gonna just stand over here for a minute. Actually, I'm just gonna cross over here for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and check the sign and see if I can read about the fish. Okay, so then, are you enjoying that? I hope it's not too roaring loud. But if you can stand Bessie, then I bet you can stand that beautiful sight right there and the sounds. I walked up and refreshed my 
memory of part of the reason this went from a party place to a preserve. And of course, I'm probably going to take you up there and read it to you after this is done. But, ah, cookies were gone. <clears throat> I went to Subway and got me a grilled chicken Southwest, what is it, Southwest Chipotle something or other, a six inch. With Monterey Jack and smoky cheddar cheese lettuce, tomato, and southwest sauce, pickles, and banana peppers. It was pretty scrumptious. I think I had the seven, uh, uh, seven grain oat honey bread or something like that. Anyway. So I thought I'd just come out here and share this beautiful view with you and tell you a couple of things. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the crochet and crochet related things oh, taken care of. Try to get down here where I'm not too blocking too much view. Okay, so I wanted to show you the this was the project bag I made out of um, started with Ella's pattern. This is the bag that was going to be the drawing bin for the blanket the other night, but then I didn't get it finished, um, so I made it into a project bag. So I just put an extra round of increases on the bottom. I took Ella's um, little Frankenstein and pumpkin bags and did this. Um, and I think these colors are that plum pudding. I think it's called plum pudding. I really don't know. And held it together with a strand of comfy cotton in the calming lavender. And then when the plum pudding ran out, I just held two, two strands of plum, I mean, um, calming lavender at the top. And then I put an extra round up here just to kind of hold it. But I wanna show y'all how much this is holding. If I don't fall over the roots. <laughs> if I do, I'm going to leave it in the video just so y'all can laugh at me. Okay, so. I have on my Pink Ribbon Project 2019 from the Leeds Fire Department, I believe. I'll turn around, but although I can't read it, so. This was, uh, I bought this at the... I bought this at the John Henry Festival in Leeds, Alabama a few weeks ago. I'm going to keep on till I fall. But anyway, so what I had started on was this is one of the little beanie babies I got at the flea market. And ah, I said there were no bugs. I meant there were no bugs. <laughs> Go away, bugs. And I did a, I am making a lovey for it in sweet mocha and I'm not sure what this pink is. It's tiny ball of something I had left over from the pink polka dots for breast cancer blanket. I want to say soft pink or petal pink. I don't think it's bright enough to be petal. But, um, so that, uh-oh, on the ground, on the ground. Love it down, love it down. So that, and this little thing is in there. I think I'm gonna sit here and finish this. I only need about a round or two left on that. Ugh. Yeah, this ain't working a lot. I need more hands. Okay, so there's that. And my hook. Oh, wrong hook. And then, I had just grabbed this as my bag of ribbons just because it had the um, 
my yarn needle and my scissors in it. That was in there. And then my tape measure. And then my hook for my lovey and my other project. And I want to finish while I'm here. Uh, this is one of the cake cozies that I made from the berry pooling. Red Heart Super Saver berry pooling. All I got to do is put my ends in and put my beads on the string that and put my beads on the end of that. That's like one of the cake cozies I'm going to give to some of the give for some of my giveaways. And then here's uh, one I'm working on now. I think I need like this one. I put an extra round on the bottom, extra increase on the bottom to make for the larger, like the latte cakes and the cute, the larger ones. And then I got. Let's see. Oh, I still got about four rounds to do on that. And there's that yarn. That's the berry pooling. Super saver pooling and berry pooling. And that's pretty. I, th I thought about so many projects. I would like to do, um, I think this would be pretty as one of Randy's, made into one of Randy's Hangetsu shawls. I'm not sure about the pooling. I'm not real sure how that works. So I got all that stuff in this bag. And it is double stranded, so, and see it's got the arms big enough that I can tote the projects. Whoa, <laughs> that's something big enough right there too. Got the arms bigger, and that's why I made it a little sturdier so it doesn't pull too much if I have something heavy in there. Although I don't think there'd be anything too heavy in there. So, let's recap. There's one Kate Cozy. Second Kate Cozy project and the yearn to finish it with. My bag of uh, ribbons and stuff. And then, this cute little thing. Look. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How you doing? For, for my uh, lovey I'm making. And I think that's what I'm going to finish first. Here's my lovey. Uh-oh. I'm going to knock my thing on the ground. So that's it. You know, I said I was going to do the solid on the inside and then that. Uh, then my other color, that sweet mocha, I think I said. So that goes in there. But wait, there's more. I also had somebody that um, I had originally made three dish, dish cloths for. And um, she had asked me, and I had just forgotten, like a big silly, uh, if there was something I could do, if I could make her, if I had a pattern for hot pads or um, pot holders or whatever. So I also brought a stain of this. That's uh, Peaches and Cream and Oasis. And I originally bought a bunch of these to make a shawl, a shawlette, ponchette, whatever, with a while back. But I never did. But I bought about like 12 skeins of those. But you know, that's only about 100 yards in each one. So, that's the crochet and the crochet accessories. I love that little bag though. I did, um, I think why I started out, you know, the single crochet and then single, all the increases. And then I started with some half doubles, I think, up through here. I think that's why it got kind of floppy. And then I went with some more singles up through here. But either way. This is the one, though, that I'm, I'm thinking about, although I don't want the headache <laughs> of writing a pattern of an idea that I have. But, yeah, I just really don't want to do all that. This is not even the prettiest part of this creek. Um, 
we have what we've always called the big rock on down the creek and that's where people used to jump off of you know and then lay up there in sun sun tan and all that good stuff and there is a straight drop off uh, fall a waterfall that drops off a couple of feet and it's just real pretty too it's like a solid wall right there and then I don't know if I can take you off of the stand and show you I'm not sure if it's like polarized and would actually see under the water but just to show you how clear this creek is I'm, I'm gonna try excuse me if I shake you around a bit good thing you can't see all those cookies under my fingernails <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I'm not sure. This is what, this is the creek bank. <laughs> this is what I'm walking on. That's what I said I'm going to fall on. But, they have cleaned it up a lot. Okay, so, can you actually see? Look how clear it is. Yeah, you can see underwater, sort of. Okay. So, like... Right here is a solid, like if you wanted to walk out, and I don't think you can actually swim, but they don't have anything against you just getting out there and flop it, splashing around. But then we have all of this, dang, and a bug in my nose. All of this is just smoothed out rock bottom. And you can just see the rippling and on down the creek a little bit. It makes a little turn right there. Back up towards the falls. Let's see what I can do without rattling around too much. I'm just gonna walk up here and read this thing to you before I run out of time and battery or in to, before somebody um, calls. This is Eagle Scout Trail. And I've noticed that, you know, the Boy Scouts and stuff has um, this little trail that walks down through here. They've cleared off walking areas in a lot of the places. And this is a forever wild property. And I noticed even outside, I saw this sign that says no smoking or vaping in this area. Thank you. I have nothing against either one, but to me, vaping sometimes smells worse than actual smoking because people will like fog up whole areas <laughs> with a vape. So here's our trail map. I know you probably can't see or tell much about it, but let me see. Here's the main gate. Where's the road though? Oh, this must be the road. So main gate. Well, there should be something that says you are here. Boy Scout Trail. It has the different trail types and how long they are and their um, what type trails they have. Um, so I'm going to read this thing to you. Let me see where it's at. We also have this Float Your Boat Summer Festival. And um, let's see if you can see that. It, it has already happened this year, of course. Um, Balsa Wood Boat Races, Pinson's Beat the Heat Ice Cream Giveaway, Games, Music, Food, and more. So what they do is you build your own boat out of um, natural, or balsa, I guess. And then you, they let you let it out up at the top side of the creek. And then it floats down and it's, um, you float your own boat. And I think there are some that actually race them I'm, I'm not real sure but it's already been the 10th annual this year oh my goodness and i've missed every one of them 
I've always said I was going to. Okay, so let me just read. Let me see if you can. I'm going to put you back on a creek while I read this to you. Um, where's it at? Well, there's the creek. Okay. After one visit, it is easy to see that Turkey Creek Nature Preserve is a treasure worth protecting. However, it has not always been that way. It has taken the efforts of countless individuals over many years of hard work to ensure that TCNP, Turkey Creek Nature Preserve, is preserved for future generations. Without their efforts, this treasure would have been lost forever. In 1998, Jefferson County proposed building a prison at Turkey Creek, setting off a controversy. Imagine that. The people of Pinson formed the Society to Advance the Resources at Turkey Creek, known as START, S-T-A-R-T, which quickly gained 7,000 members. Between 1998 and 2003, START members and partners from the Freshwater Land Trust worked tirelessly to not only end the plans for a jail, but also eventually led the state's forever wild land trust purchase and preservation of the proposed jail site. Today, this group's enthusiasm and dedication is seen as one of the most successful grassroots efforts of our time. For generations to come, visitors will enjoy the beauty of Turkey Creek, all because of the efforts of this group of concerned citizens. Thank you, Start. And then, in 2009, Start, the Freshwater Land Trust, and Forever Wild partnered with the Southern Environmental Center at Birmingham Southern College to establish an on-site environmental education and management position at Turkey Creek Nature Preserve. This is where the rubber truly meets the road. Through this partnership, the SEC provides long-term planning, maintenance, security, and educational programming at Tur Turkey Creek Nature Preserve. Today, thousands of students engage in the hands-on environmental education programs at TCNP every year. At Turkey Creek, the Land Trust, the Freshwater Land Trust, worked for two years to combine approximately 1.5 million from the Jefferson County Greenways program with $750,000 in private landowner contributions to secure support from the Alabama Forever Wild program, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Jefferson County, and others to help establish the 700-acre Turkey Creek Nature Preserve and Greenways. Two decades after its establishment by constitutional amendment in 1992, the Forever Wild Land Trust has purchased more than 227,000 acres of land in Alabama for public use. Yet that's still a smaller percentage of public conservation land, 3.66%, than nearly any other southeastern state. Than nearly any other southeastern state. Of this permanent land, the trust owns 165,000 1,807 acres, less than 0.51% of the total land area in Alabama. A long-term mm, long recreational lease has secured additional land. The Forever Wild Land Trust acquisitions have also created 220 miles of recreational trails within 21 new recreation areas and nature preserves while providing additions to 10 state parks and 17 wildlife management areas. The Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources manages these lands through its various divisions, state lands, state parks, and wildlife and freshwater fisheries. The ADCNR is not a general fund agency and relies on revenues from license sales, hunting and fishing, and park visitor fees to support its public service operations. Without relying on taxpayer money, these coastal wetlands, forests, wildlife habitats, and other natural areas have been protected so that future generations can enjoy them. The city of Pinson, Alabama has a rich history, and although the actual incorporation of the city occurred in 2004, the Pinson community is one of the oldest in the state of Alabama. The residents in this city from the Palmerdale and Pinson Valley communities were united in the goal of local control with an overwhelming vote for incorporation. After the initial incorporation, the next chapter was set in motion. Pinson's mayor and the Pit Pinson City Council invite you to visit our city to experience the warmth and charm that is a staple of Southern hospitality. The mission of the Friends 
of Turkey Creek Nature Preserve is to preserve and promote Turkey Creek Nature Preserve, its native wildlife and historical sites. We will achieve these goals through supporting the TCNP in special event planning, fundraising, public education, and volunteerism. So there you go. <laughs> I'm a reading fool, ain't I? <laughs> so anyway. There is something about a little fish, <laughs> though. And I want to say it's the rainbow darter. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, they shut this place down for a while to preserve this little rare fish. And, hey, Bessie. Hey, my Bessie Blue. Um... So, I will find that information and get it back to you. So, let's see what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try not to tear up my phone and try to get y'all back in position. I'm just going to let you listen and look at that for another few minutes. And then I'll get out of here. I'm going to just sit over here with my crotchet bag and do some crotcheting. Right here, don't worry. Well, let's see, where else could I be? I could be right here. Listening with you. Yes, how? Did you see me go down on my arm? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm right here. It's okay, it's right for this one. Oh, I had one more thing to show you. Hang on. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so in the meantime, <laughs> meanwhile back at the ranch, I was looking at some of the cutest, most perfect little acorns. Tiny, tiny little acorns. And there's like thousands of them. Here's a little nut cluster. <gasps> That was just real pretty and I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna get back down here and see if I can not fall while crotcheting. And listening to the soothed sounds of Turkey Creek Nature Preserve. Thank you for joining me today. You'd think a person would bring a chair. We'll be back later tonight with Spooky Sunday, or whatever we call it. <laughs> Have we named it yet? I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit on this route. <laughs> okay. Listen to the roof. Listen to the creek. I'm a hush now.
Y'all still there? There's no blanket. I'm already. Me again, Margaret. What I'm going to do is I am going to try to pause you and take you down to the big falls. Um, but if I get cut off because I am at like 35 minutes and my phone says I only have like 44 minutes for a video, if I get cut off, I will 
see you again later uh, later tonight with spooky Sunday if I don't get cut off then I'll see you at the falls in a minute love y'all have a good evening bye